I was looking at the discussion I had with Slavo Žižek a few years ago about Marxism putatively. That isn't really what the conversation ended up being about. But I offered a 15-minute critique of the Communist Manifesto at the beginning. And at one point, I described it to the audience as a call to bloody violent revolution, uh, which is what it was. And there were a lot of people in the audience, disproportionate number for my audiences, um, who had come to see Zizek kick the slats out from underneath me. And so there were a lot of people who were very far left in the audience. And when I said call to bloody violent revolution, a good fifth, fifth of the audience cheered and laughed. And I, it stopped me in my tracks because it was quite chilling. You know, I heard, the, I heard the mob in that moment. You could hypothesize that a dictatorship of the proletariat could come about, and that was the, the, the first stage in the communist revolution. And remember, this is a call for revolution, and not just revolution, but bloody violent revolution, and the, overthrow of all, uh, the overthrowing of all existent social structures. Um, anyways, the, 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 the problem with that, you see, is that because all the evil isn't divided so easily up into oppressor and oppressed. And, you know, it was a Freudian moment. Freud noted that people often laughed at things that had deep psychological significance and also that you could express your true feelings when you were hidden in a crowd. Well, and the true feelings were, well, the Communist Manifesto, who the hell cares about its rationality and its justification? It's like... It's a call for a violent revolution, and ha-ha, hooray, let's do it. And I thought, yeah, you bastards, you revealed yourself in that laugh, in that chilling, awful, uh, uh, unconscious, willfully blind, malevolent glee at the notion of the picket fence burning down.